All right, everyone. So we have some news and announcements for Raid Shadow Legends, including the Cursed event. And there's a reason why this event has earned that nickname. And I wanted to share with you guys some really important info about this event today. You're definitely going to want to know some of these things before you kind of jump right to it. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So let's kind of go through this stuff in order here. So if we go into the events page, you guys will see that we do indeed have two events running right now. We have the Dungeon Divers event and we have the Artifact Enhancement event. Now the Artifact Enhancement event, this is the event that's kind of earned the title, the Cursed event, and I'm going to explain the reasoning why, as well as a lot of really important warnings about this event. Polarium has definitely struggled with this event in Raid Shadow Legends. They completely revamped the event all the way from scratch. They redid it completely many, many months ago. If you guys have been playing Raid Shadow Legends for a long time like I have, you guys have experienced the old version of the Artifact Enhancement event. They've also had problems with this event crashing the game. The servers went down and they had to completely cancel the event midway through. It's been many, many months since we've actually had this event, so there's been a lot of problems with it. I get a little bit worried when it comes back, but uh, I'll share some other info about this event that you guys are going to want to know before you really jump into it, because it involves a lot of silver. So you definitely don't want to get too far ahead of yourselves, or you might end up wasting more silver than you need to. But first of all, we also have the Dungeon Divers event as well. This is a pretty typical one. We've had this one many times. We've had this one recently, actually, and I love this event. Very similar to the Champion Training event. The reason why I like this event is because a lot of the stuff for the Dungeon Divers events, you're, you're probably just going to be doing it anyway. Whether there's an event running or not, you're going to be farming the campaign. You're going to be farming dungeons either way because you're going to need that stuff for your overall account progress. Now, another great thing about the Dungeon Divers event is that you can end up getting the points for it whether you decide to farm the campaign or whether you decide to farm dungeons because campaign, of course, is going to end up giving you experience for your champions and your food. It's going to give you silver, which you're going to need for the artifact enhancement event, and it's also going to end up giving you artifacts. Now, even though the artifacts that you end up getting from the campaign, especially if you're mid or late game, you're just automatically going to be vendoring them, they're still going to end up giving you points for this event. So it opens up the option to complete this event just by running through the campaign normally. And of course, you can end up doing dungeons and get gear that way as well. So you're looking at these rewards. I think it's pretty much exactly the same as the last one. They haven't updated these rewards like a lot of the newer events. I noticed because you still get two brews, four brews, eight brews. These are some old, old rewards that have been in, the, in this event since... I first saw it when I started the game in April and, and whatnot, so that's going on. Then we have the Artifact Enhancement event, aka the Cursed event. Now, you need 5,500 points for this one, and this one is the big silver sink. It takes a lot of silver to end up completing this event, and I wanted to share with you guys some stuff about this event that you're going to want to know, and a lot of it comes from past experiences. So 5,500 points, if you take a look at what you are going to need and what levels you are going to need to upgrade to get certain points, you'll see that the majority of points that you end up getting are going to be at level 16. And those of you guys who have played the game and have upgraded artifacts, you know that of course the grind from plus 12 to plus 16 is going to be the most costly, which it makes sense that it ends up giving you the most amount of points. Now, the original version of this event, it didn't work like that. You just got points just by upgrading artifacts. It was really easy. You could end up doing it with just a couple hundred thousand silver. You could do it in 30 to 40 minutes and you would be done with it. But they revamped it to now. You actually need to prepare for it. And it takes quite a bit of silver and or time in order to complete this event. At four, five, and six star artifacts, giving you anywhere between 200 and 340 points uh, to get to plus 16, you'll see that it's going to take you, you know, around 20 or so artifacts to plus 16. Now, let's just say it takes an average cost of 2 million silver. Uh, honestly, if you want it to be safe, I would say even two and a half or three million silver. It probably won't take you that many. But we all know the worst feeling in the world would be getting really close to finishing one of these events and then not being able to do so and missing out on the end rewards, which are usually going to be the best. So if you were to save 3 million silver per artifact and say it takes you 15 to 20 artifacts, you're looking at saving between 40 to 50 million silver. That might be a little bit too much. I would say most people complete this event anywhere between 20, 25 to 30 million silver, depending on how lucky you are, depending on what strategy you go with. You can 
end up doing more early levels as well. It's technically a little bit more efficient uh, in terms of points. If you wanted to, let's just say, just go to plus four, but obviously that takes a lot of time. Not many people are probably going to do that. The majority of people are going to upgrade from either plus zero to plus 16 or they've already upgraded their artifacts to plus 15 already and they're just going to go straight from plus 15 to plus 16 so you know if you guys don't have any artifacts upgraded and you want to do this event completely from scratch i would say you want to have at least 30 35 million silver if you want to be pretty safe that you're going to end up completing this event if you have less than that you run the risk of getting unlucky and unfortunately not being able to end up finishing this event now Another big question is, should you even do this event or not? Now, the reason why I say this is because Polarium has been very Polarium when they run this event. I know that doesn't make sense, but what I mean by that is they've been very deceptive and sneaky, and they have run this event back to back to back many times. So it takes around 30 million or so silver in order to actually end up completing this event. But then what they've done in the past is about a week later they put out another one of these artifact enhancement events same number of points needed 30 million silver then guess what a week later they did another one of these artifact enhancement events so they had three of these in a period of like two to three weeks where you needed 30 or so million silver each and there was just no way that the majority of players had anywhere even close to that much silver saved up so we don't know if they're going to do something like that. It is very well possible. It's been many, many months since they've actually had this event because the last one actually crashed the server and they had to cancel it midway through. I remember because I spent about 10 million silver and they had to cancel the event halfway through. They ended up sending the best rewards to people, but still there have been a lot of problems with this artifact enhancement event. So they either could end up releasing more of these in the future very, very soon, just like they have done in the past, or we do indeed know that there is going to be holiday related events and a possible holiday fusion coming up. I believe it's confirmed that there is going to be a fusion. It's just not confirmed that it's going to be Sir Nicholas. Everyone is hoping that it will be, but there's going to be holiday stuff coming up really soon. We've entered December. Christmas and New Year's is less than a month away. You guys can kind of get the general idea of how much silver you personally believe you are going to end up being able to get in the next month or so of play see if it's going to be reasonable for you in order to end up completing this event and whether you think you can save up some silver for all the holiday craziness that we're going to end up getting because once again we know it's coming we don't know exactly what it's going to be but you could definitely be rest assured that it's going to take a decent amount of silver polarium they definitely strategically plan these type of events so if you guys are really low on silver or you're just barely able to complete this event let's just say you have exactly 30 million or 35 million or so you might still want to actually think about if you want to actually get into this event now you can take a look at the rewards they're decent you know it's not terrible or anything like that void shard epic tome some gems some energy ancient shard but it's not absolutely horrible you know if you end up missing out on these rewards it's not the end of the world i would say if you're close to 30 to 40 million silver you might want to actually consider skipping out on this and saving that silver for what could possibly be coming up with the holiday events very very soon so uh, wanted to give you guys this info on the cursed events some stuff that could be coming up in the future And now that you guys kind of know these warnings and disclaimers You guys kind of know what you think is going to be best for you and what options to kind of proceed with forward Now me I have been saving for this event for ages You guys know how much silver I have quite a bit of course I actually got really lucky because my monthly quest I'm on the very last day and I saved this one right here as well upgrade two artifacts to level 16 so this works with the event very very well I'm not going to lie I've been waiting for a while for this and for me even if I do end up burning through 30 or 40 million silver in this event I think I'll still be pretty well prepared for the holiday stuff in the future but I wanted to let you guys know because I know very few people playing have 150 million silver and I know yes I am pretty crazy for saving up that much silver so anyway and other news really quickly here uh, well the first week of platinum tier arena is indeed concluded and the rewards are out there's a whole bunch of screenshots circulating but we have been waiting to see kind of what the rewards will be because polarium quote said you know it's going to be very difficult but the rewards will be worth it well here is one screenshot right here 
of some rewards from the Platinum Arena. Um, there's many more if you want to take a look at the Raid Shadow Legends official Discord, if you want to take a look at the Raid Shadow Legends Reddit, you guys will see a bunch of these screenshots going around, but you can see, uh, generally what I've noticed, the rewards are better, you, you are seeing a few screenshots with a couple of Ancient Shards instead of one, some more items overall, maybe a few more gems here and there, but, I mean, they're better, but for how difficult it is to get into Platinum and then stay in Platinum, are the rewards corresponding to the amount of effort that it takes? Absolutely not. So, you know, everyone's going to have different opinions about this, but I think a lot of people definitely feel like the rewards are pretty underwhelming for how difficult Platinum Arena has been. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to bring up is there was a quick little update here uh, in the game. Just make sure it was a little bit hidden. So we got a couple of little compensation items sent to our mailbox. These don't last for very long. So keep in mind you guys have these in your mailbox right now. Make sure to claim them before they disappear on you. Just a refill bag and energy and a clan boss key. And with that being said, what I wanted to do is tomorrow or very soon, maybe even tonight, sometime very soon in the future, I'm going to put out a video specifically on saving silver when it comes to upgrading artifacts. It's not directly going to be related to the event, so it's not like you have to watch it when the artifact enhancement event is running. But I wanted to save that type of stuff for a different video, and this one is just going to be mostly the news and announcements. So if you guys are interested in more information about saving silver, and doing the event efficiently, but also just upgrading your artifacts efficiently, whether there is, is an event running or not. That video will be out very soon, so keep an eye on it. Uh, keep an eye on it on the channel. Um, and with that all being said, I believe that is going to be it for the video today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate all the support, everyone. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this in, in the future, including a notification for that video coming real soon about upgrading artifacts efficiently, consider subscribing. Really do appreciate all the support, everyone. Over 21,000 subscribers on the channel. If you want to help out, toss a quick like. It means more than you can even imagine. And of course, more Raid Shadow Legends videos should be popping up on the screen right about now. So feel free to check them out. Over 75 Raid Shadow Legends videos on the channel. And with that all being said, have a great day, everyone. Take care. And until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.